Hi, welcome to my YouTube. My name is Emma. We're going to be making some shrimp or beef with broccoli. I have both. I have a pound of extra large shrimp. You can either go with the extra large, the colossal, or the super colossal. I chose the extra large because I want the uh, count to be a little bit higher. As you can see, this is a 26 to 30. Make sure it's thawed. I thawed this out last night, so I took it out this morning. It's around 1 o'clock in the afternoon right now. For the beef and broccoli, I get the thin cut um, sirloin and it comes with about three to four layers of the sirloin. What I'm going to do is cut this into strips. Both I'm going to wash. <clears throat> For the shrimp, I'm going to rinse and take off the um, tails because this comes deveined peels with the tail on so I'm gonna rinse it take the tails off and put it in its own bag for the beef I'm going to slice against the grain as you can see the grain is going this way and kind of this way so I'm going to cut at a diagonal of this way you'll see when I am um, cut it or you might not I'm going to cut at a diagonal so I'm going against the grain always cut against the grain when you're cutting um, meat so it'll cook better and I'm going to rinse it off and put it in its own bag as well I will probably be using gloves for this but you will be seeing um, all of this I will tell you and list in the um, box all the ingredients you will need for this beef and broccoli obviously you will need two pounds of broccoli or two one pound broccoli crowns because we're making separate shrimp and broccoli and beef and broccoli you're going to need white cooking wine I went with this one because it's not too pricey you're going to need oyster sauce. I went with this brand because I just prefer it and it's found in Walmart. All of these products are found in Walmart. You're going to need sesame seed oil. Like I said, all of these products are found in Walmart. You're going to need soy sauce. I prefer the less sodium. You can get the one with regular amount of sodium in it. It doesn't matter. You're going to need cornstarch. You're going to need baking soda. I have mine in a um, dish that I made myself. Now, it says for my recipe, you're going to need some type of chicken stock or chicken broth. I use what the meat is called for so I don't use chicken I use beef for the beef and for the shrimp I use shrimp for the shrimp so I found shrimp bouillon which you can find at Walmart and I use beef bouillon which you can also find at Walmart as you can hear in the background a loud noise that is my um, kettle boiling water for me so I can make the bouillon into broth. <clears throat> I am going to be making shrimp broth with the shrimp bouillon for the shrimp and broccoli. I am going to be making beef broth with the beef bouillon for the beef and broccoli. And I will be back in a moment so I can take off the tails and rebag the shrimp so I can marinate it and do the same with the beef. So the marinade begins. And through the magic of YouTube, the uh, shrimp is now washed and has no tails. And the meat is now all cut up into chunks. Perfect for my beef and broccoli. So now I'm going to put them into and these are clean gloves and I'm going to put the beef into the 
gallon size bag because I need to make the marinade for the beef and broccoli. And because I'm doing that, getting rid of that. And I need to put the shrimp into its own gallon size bag. And I'm gonna be using my left hand to get the shrimp because we don't want to be mixing seafood and other meats or any type of meats or seafood together. We just want them in their own separate bags and the dishes and everything out of the way. So now that they're in their own separate bags, everything's perfect. This is a little over a pound, but that's okay. And this is a pound and like I said that's okay so let's start making the marinade what we're gonna want to first do is pull out a small bowl and I'll be right back all right here's the small bowl that I'm pulling out I am um, sorry about that I thought I had it ready with me but I did not and I'm just adjusting my apron because I didn't tie it tight enough, and now I guess it's falling off of me. I will edit that out, or maybe not. Anyway, let's see, can we move this up? No, nope, we can't. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start with the marinade. The marinade for the beef and broccoli are gonna be the same, except they're just gonna go into separate bags. Each marinade is going to be in a small bowl. You're going to want to whisk together soy sauce. I'm going to get my small whisk. You're going to want to whisk together one tablespoon of soy sauce. And this is per meat. A tablespoon of soy sauce, a teaspoon of sesame oil, a teaspoon of cornstarch. As you notice, I am using separate um, teaspoons for dry goods. The ones I use for dry goods are squared off, not because of anything particular other than it's easier to use the squared off ones for the dry goods. And you're going to use a teaspoon of baking soda. My baking soda is in its own container. So those four ingredients, that is a tablespoon of soy sauce, a teaspoon of sesame oil, a teaspoon of cornstarch, and a teaspoon of baking soda. You're going to whisk that all together. It's going to make like a light brown mist. Mix it until it's nice and smooth. And this is your marinade. You're going to do this twice because I have two meats. If you only have one meat though, if you only have the shrimp or you only have the beef, only do this once. But if you have both like myself, what you're going to do is open up one, dump that marinade in there, and start over again. So once they're marinated in there, you're going to want to mix it around and you're going to want to marinate this for two or more hours before you cook it. The reason why I start with the marinade and marinate it for two or more hours, it's just a taste preference with me. You're going to want this to taste as similar to takeout as possible. So please, heed the rules. 
go and do this two or more hours. Please, one tablespoon of soy sauce. One teaspoon of sesame oil. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of cornstarch. And I kid you not, your marinade will work out fine. You're going to mix it until it's smooth. And then you're going to dump it into your protein. Or meat of choice. This will work with chicken as well. But I choose beef and shrimp because that's what my family likes. You're going to mix it. Once you mix it, flatten it out. Let it marinate for two or more hours in the refrigerator. Okay, so now I've gotten my next steps ready. My next step is going to be for the sauce for the beef and broccoli and the shrimp and broccoli. I have two little containers. One I'm gonna mark with an S. This is a dry erase marker, so this will come off later. The S is for shrimp, and as you know, the B is for beef. So I will know which sauce is which, and I'm about to prepare the sauces for you. Okay, in each container, what you're gonna wanna do is put in one third cup. This is a two thirds cup, so I'm gonna put in half. In each container, you're gonna put in one third cup of your uh, broth, which this one is the shrimp broth. So there's a third cup of the shrimp broth. One cup and one teaspoon of the shrimp bouillon equal the uh, one cup of broth. Here's the beef bouillon. And there's a one third cup for the beef and broccoli broth. So you put in one third cup of the broth or stock. After you do that, you're gonna wanna put in two, count them, two teaspoons of the white wine into each bowl, not into just two teaspoons in each bowl. After you put the two teaspoons in, you're gonna stir that in. You're gonna then, after you stir that in, put in one quarter cup of oyster sauce. Sometimes that can be a little hard, so I go and just try to um, get that done as soon as I can. And this is about a quarter cup, so I just pour that right on in. Take some of the hot broth, because I you saw me earlier boil the hot water for that. put that into the container itself to get the rest out. And I'm opening up a new one for the beef. This stuff is thick and sometimes it doesn't like to come out. So it's nice to use a utensil. And 
and some of the hot broth to get the rest of it out of the cup you use. So once you mix that all in, you then need to add, so you've added your stocks or um, your um, broth, your white wine, your oyster sauce. Now you need to add, yet again, one teaspoon of cornstarch. Once you do that, you mix them in and your sauces are done. Both of your sauces should have a slightly loose consistency and look about this color. And that's normal. You put your top on, this beef or beef, I've already covered the shrimp, and then you refrigerate them with your um, marinated meat for two or more hours. Now all you have to do is wait until later so you can cook your beef and broccoli. All right, this is one of the broccoli clowns. So I know it's gonna be a two hour wait. We're not gonna do that on film. We're just gonna cut one of these so you can see like, cut it to your liking. You can even buy a bag of florets, but I like to buy the crowns because I get to pick them myself and I get to choose exactly how much broccoli is going into my servings of beef and broccoli. I like to have a lot of broccoli. Cut them on my cutting board. And um, with this, I um, like to go through and break them apart so I know that when I cook them later for the beef and broccoli, how much beef and broccoli I'm working with for that one serving. And since I'm cooking two, I'm going to have two bowls of these. And what I do is I put them away for later so I can um, rinse them off and then steam them. I do not cook the broccoli with my beef and broccoli. I steam my broccoli separately on purpose because it seems before when I used to cook my broccoli with the meat that my broccoli used to come out a consistency that I did not like. It would come out either too hard or some of it would be mushy, so I found that it is easier for me to steam it myself, either in a microwave inside of a bowl with a little bit of water for about seven minutes, or it is easier for me to um, use a pan steamer for about seven minutes as well. And... I find that when I steam it separately, I get the broccoli to the exact consistency that I like. And when I stir or fold in the broccoli afterwards, after I cooked the protein with the sauce in it, the broccoli is at the consistency that you choose that you want it at. So, that's how we're going to be doing. As you can see, there is the uh, two tablespoons of olive oil and the two teaspoons of minced garlic. There's another one. As you can see, I got one on each side. This is for the beef. This is for the shrimp. The shrimp is on the heat. The beef is not. So <clears throat> as soon as this heats up, as you can see, I have my wooden... Um, 
utensil. We're going to push that around. It's going to come and start to sizzle. The second it starts to sizzle, that's when I'm going to start. Um, see, it's starting right now. That's when I'm going to add in the shrimp in a minute or two. You also might want to pair this with some rice. We cooked some rice two days ago in our rice cooker. So that'll pair perfectly. I just dumped the shrimp right in, straight out of the bag that it was in. And this is when you're going to want to put it on as high as you can that you feel comfortable with cooking this on. You're going to want this to sizzle as much as possible. The shrimp, because it is already thawed, is going to be turning a bright pink color. And everything is going to start to sizzle. All you're going to see is sizzling. Do not take this pan off the heat because I've seen in videos where people are cooking something and then they lift the pan off. No, that's going to mess up your distribution. All you got to do is just move the shrimp around. If you want to flip it, flip it. But you do not take it off the heat. You need to cook this. As you can see, the heat is high enough that the shrimp is starting to turn bright pink already. All right, as you can see, the shrimp is all pink and brown and is ready. Yes, you hear my toddler crying because you just do. So now it's time to add the sauce. So you just add the sauce directly to that. That'll bubble and sizzle. You're going to turn that down to uh, low or off if you want. I like to turn mine off. Now I fold in the broccoli. And this is done. All right, and now it's time for the beef to have a go at it. As you can see, I got a different um, utensil because I'm cooking with beef. The beef is going to cook a lot different than the shrimp because. I mean, it's beef. We're going to have to flip it, turn it, manipulate it a lot more to make sure that it is done. You are going to have to have this on a higher heat. Like I said, my stove is electric, my stove top. So right now I am cooking this on eight. And I'm not going to put it on the high setting because the high setting will not cook this all the way through. This is sirloin and I 
wouldn't do this with any other meat. Some people say you can do this with flat or flank steak. I choose sirloin because it's the easiest for me to cook with. And as you can see, the more I turn it, the more it cooks. This is going to take about five minutes for it to cook on this one. So I will be heading out. Oh, one came out. For the most part, this meat is all at um, medium. And I added the sauce in so it can um, cook a little bit more. And what I'm going to do, because this is the beef and not the shrimp, is I'm going to let this one sizzle for a minute or two on a medium to low setting. So if you have an electric stove, that's going to be about four. And you let that simmer for about two minutes so you can cook the pieces in the sauce that have not been cooked. And remember, your broccoli is steaming in the microwave, or if you have a steamer pot, it's steaming in another pot because you do not want to cook your broccoli with this because as I said, when I made the broccoli with this before, now you see why the consistency of the broccoli won't be the kind you want. And if you really want this to cook a little longer, you put a lid on it. So as you can see, it's been the two minutes and everything is um, simmered down. The meat is cooked all the way through to everybody's liking. Well, at least to mine. All right, I'm going to fold the broccoli in and then we're done. This is ready to eat. All we have to do is add rice 